One of the sexiest uh, women in uh, the business is Lee Bryce, and he is with us today. <laughs> How are you, dude? I'm awesome. Hey, Kidding can me? can we talk about all the craziness that's going on? Your bus caught on fire. Didn't Randy's bus catch catch up? Randy Hauser's bus bus caught on fire, and then Jared's bus caught on fire too. Uh, yeah, Jared. Uh, Randy's caught on fire last summer. We were on the uh, the Throwdown tour, the Wheeling Nelson thing, and then mine caught on fire in Phoenix about I don't know three four months ago, and then about a month and a half ago, Jared's bus. Bus. I was on his bus. Well, he said that yeah. you came in and you were like, dude, I smell smoke. We got to get out of here. I, I saw the smoke. The same smoke, yeah. By the time y'all got off, that's when it all went crazy and was engulfed. Yeah, when I got off my bus, I saw it smoking. It was a real big smoldering, right? And then in about two minutes, it was in flames 20 feet high, okay? What's, what's up with all these buses catching fire? We actually we were there whenever Kenny's bus caught on fire. Remember that? Yep. I mean, what is up with the, these buses? The thing is, is it, it's not overheating or anything like that. There's no like sign of it. There's some type of short on that year kind of bus, I think, and might have to send a letter Did you guys somebody. all have the same model? Randy and me and Jared did. Wow. Kind of the same model, yeah. kind of the same year. So I think there's, and there's like a short between the batteries or something. There's literally, so there's no like overheating or anything like that. It just. One minute it's fine and the next and then minute it you've starts got... smoking and two minutes later it's on fire. Three minutes later your windows blow out like an explosion. Wow. wow. Like in chips? Like, uh, we got a video <laughs> like in of chips. it. It's insane. <laughs> Boom. We were 30, 30 yards away and it felt it, we felt it hit our chest. Boom. Whole front windshield flew out like a. Like it wasn't even there. Wow. Crazy. Like a movie. <laughs> we were like, what? <laughs> that's <laughs> Glad we weren't on there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, th- that's pretty dangerous because obviously yeah. it's not just a country problem. I'm sure yep. this is going on with rap artists who are going around mm-hmm. and pop stars and rock stars who ha- happen to travel on buses. Yeah. And you know, so we actually... We're going to lose somebody. We, if we're not careful, we're going to lose somebody. We're, we're, we're going to send a letter over to the company and... If that way they can at least address, because they're kind of right now, it's, it's going over, well, it was the bus company, or the right. one you rented it to, or it was the driver. Right. Nah, there's something going on there. So, we're going to send a letter, make sure that they either look into it, or else we'll have to go you know, further. I know this sounds silly. Get with the Better Business Bureau. They deal with that kind of really? stuff. Really? Or uh, any one of the, com- uh, what is it, consumer protection places? Okay. Yeah. Because we, yeah, we got to do something. About, I mean, cause <laughs> the Better Business Bureau. I'm <laughs> telling you, Bob has no bureau. idea. <laughs> better <laughs> Business Bureau. Say that four times. And Lee's like, really? Okay. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the better business Okay. Hey, uh, Lee Bryce is in the studio. Uh, by the way, congrats. Uh, big news for Lee. We'll talk about that on the way with Big Day and Bubba.